Hello and welcome to Advanced Camping and RV's virtual tour of this 2006 RS Adventurous Road Trek. It's got about 52,000 miles on it. Very clean. No visible body damage or anything like that. We'll have the four captain seats um, configuration. It does have the mattresses to convert these into beds as well. Coming inside the coach here, we've got the cab area. And remember, this will be the five-cylinder version on the Mercedes-Benz engine. Um, it will get a little bit better gas mileage than the turbo diesel six-cylinder that you're used to seeing in the brand new ones. You'll have a whole stereo system. Um, you'll have, let's see, some levels around, plenty of uh, drink holders. There's going to be a glove compartment there. Pretty much has the whole thing up front here. We do have some reading lights as well. And then we'll have a, a curtain for privacy all the way along the front. All these seats do swivel around, even the rear captain seats as well. We'll have day-night shades throughout the whole coach. So if we want it totally blacked out, we can just uh, darken it like so. But there really are a lot of windows throughout, and um, it really just makes for a nice, open, fun touring experience. We'll have our convection microwave under here. Uh, of course, you'll have your refrigerator and freezer, two burner stove and sink. And uh, this unit does come equipped with the Onan generator and a smaller inverter for the television and uh, other smaller appliances. Let's see, we'll have the bathroom right through here. And you'll see it has the foot flush toilet, the sink, and the shower head, as well as the vent for ventilating, uh, ventilating out uh, moisture. It's very, very similar to a brand new one. Not much is different. Um, they did add a 110 outlet in here so that is um, one step up so you can use that um, you know curling iron or hair dryer or something like, like that just right in the bathroom and then it does have an outside enclosure for that 110 outlet uh, to be waterproofed okay and then coming back through here We'll of course have our air conditioner on the roof and that'll work just fine running off the generator um, or if you're plugged in. We'll have our flat screen TV and um, we'll have a DVD player and a converter box up top so you can watch uh, over the air channels. There's a signal booster up there as well. Uh, it's also cable and satellite prepped if you wanted to go that route. Or you can just uh, put a DVD in and start watching some TV right there. It's a full swivel television as well, and it will come out. So, I mean, if you wanted to sit in the front seats and swivel them around, they would uh, face this way. If perhaps you're a little more comfortable in the captain's seats. And this one will have the uh, removable headboard here. It'll give you uh, a little bit of extra storage. Of course, it does get uh, removed when you convert this all into one large bed. This is going to be your mattress for converting uh, one of the one of the uh, front areas into a bed. It'll basically lay across uh, the back the back captain seat and then you swivel the front seat around 
and it'll lay just right on top of it. But we'll see a lot more windows back here. A nice open airy feeling definitely. A lot of windows can be opened back here to really give you the maximum amount of airflow. And then you'll also be able to turn on that uh, 12 volt fantastic fan in the roof there to really create a nice big cross breeze through here. We'll see lots of you know little storage areas all throughout. They've really done a great job of kind of utilizing every bit of extra space. <clears throat> so like this one has a sun visor that comes with it. But very complete, very clean. Not seeing any major damage um, or anything serious. It all looks to be in really clean order. So, walking outside, you'll see our awning out here. We'll have two porch lights. Coming around here, we have our rear doors. These open up all the way you can get to some under storage here as well so there is quite a bit of space underneath there you can even see that one goes almost all the way back for lots and lots of uh, storage items one of the biggest storage areas I think I've seen even compared to uh, the brand new ones there's even a spot there where you can open it up if you had like ski or something a little bit longer uh, that you wanted to stick through. Of course it'll have the, uh, the hitch and uh, seven pin trailer wiring and also the four pin trailer wiring for smaller trailers. Coming around we'll have various utility um, compartments and things like that. We'll have our refrigerator vents, hot water heater vents, furnace vents. We'll have an extra mirror up here too on both sides just to try to eliminate that blind spot. And um, like was mentioned it is a Mercedes-Benz engine um, on this mach machine even though it's technically not registered as such but it's still the same manufacturer it's technically a Freightliner chassis but uh, Mercedes-Benz did still do the engine and again this is on the five cylinder chassis so get a little bit better fuel economy even than the new ones so, as always, feel free to reach us at uh, advancedcamping.com. You can always get a hold of us there. And um, we'll have this one for display. So, please come visit us. And again, thanks for watching our virtual tour of the 2006 RS Adventurous. And have a good day.